așa. Tara, tara, tara. Dang, it's dark. Y'all can't even see me. Oh, there you go. You know what? Let me do this over here. Ba da 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 da. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. What is up? What is up, y'all? Excuse me. More. <laughs> Bet. I got y'all. Definitely break down the experience. What I did to overcome. <laughs> and just... Yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot, but I'm very grateful for the experience because I wouldn't have, yeah, it, I'm grateful for the experience. I'm very, very grateful because I definitely feel like it definitely tested me physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally. It, 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 it tested everything. So I'll wait for a couple more people to jump in here and then we'll get, we'll, I'll just start breaking it down. I'll start sharing the experience. But first of all, how you doing, brother? Hope everything's well. What's up, Cameron? Mr. Nate Ramos in the house. Before you do try this, though, disclaimer, before you do try this, try at least doing an intermediate fast, okay? Do some kind of intermediate fast, and of course, do your research before you go into it, because it's not for everybody, like... There were times where I almost gave up. <laughs> I literally almost, and there were times where I almost passed out too. It was, it was a lot, but I'm here seven days later. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, I guess I'll get started and if people jump in, I'll, I'll say it over again. Um, but the overall experience was, it was tough. I'll be honest. It was tough. It was a struggle, um, but what kept me really going specifically was I just had to keep telling myself that I have to finish this. You know, there's there's this mental capacity where it's very easy for us to just start something and give up and then do something again or start something new and not really finish or follow through on one thing. I'm at fault for doing that in many different circumstances and whatnot. But what really, again, pushed me was like, yo, I can't, if I'm going to do this, I, I'm not, I can't just do it. I can't half, I can't half ass this, you know, because this is something that's good for my body or this is a lot on my body, you know. So you have to take that serious. You have to put that into accountability and be, re be prepared for that responsibility because, it does take a big toll on your body. It really does. Like this morning, I ate some kiwis, um, bananas, and I ate a bunch of fruits. And then later on, I was able to actually eat some rice. So I'm slowly, gradually bringing food back into my system. And yes, you want to start slow. Do not eat like a meal right away. Do not eat like rice and chicken. I ate rice and avocado, so like... 
that in a sense kind of balanced out. But don't start with heavy foods right away. It will fuck you up. <laughs> it will mess you up. Um, but all right, let's start from the beginning. Let's start. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Papa Kubina Bear. I'm just gonna talk about uh, my experience uh, with this water fasting. Um, what really inspired me to start this, or uh, intrigued me to start this. Was I saw this podcast on Beast Camp. This is on YouTube. I'll post the link um, in the... Hey, Taylor. I'll post the link in the comments uh, after I'm done so that you guys can go check it out. It's an hour podcast. You can play this while you're working out, cooking, whatever you're doing. I would encourage people to check out this podcast. Um, it features Baby Tight Eyes, a.k.a. Beast. Um... It also features Ghost, who is also under Beast. Um, if you don't know what this are, this, these are crumpers, by the way, okay? Dancers, but they're also just beautiful, amazing human beings. Um, what's up, Yahweh? Um, but I watched that podcast, and uh, Yahya was featured on there, and the topic was health, right? And essentially, just through listening that through through listening through that podcast. Um, she talked about a she she talked about a lot, um, so that's why again I encourage you guys to go check it out. Um, but pretty much one of the biggest thing that caught me was her story about I don't know if I mean I'm sure it's out there now, but um, I'm not sure if people knew, but she had cancer to, uh, in 2018, I believe. Sorry if I'm getting this wrong, or sorry if you don't want me to share this, but it's already out on the YouTube. Um, but pretty much she was diagnosed with some type of cancer that doctors didn't know how to uh, fix or diagnose. They didn't know how to help her with it. So, you know, from seeing doctors from time to time traveling, trying to see what doctors can do to help her out. Um, she ran into somebody that told her to try a water fast. So she did a water fast with Beast, Ghost, and I believe another person, but it might have just been them three. Um, pretty much they did that water fast. Fast, fast, water fast. <laughs> they did that water fast for seven days straight. And after that seven days, you know, they also explained how their experience was too. But after that seven days, when she went back to um, do her checkup with the doctors and stuff to check on the cancers and whatnot, when she went back, the cancer cells or stuff was completely gone. Gone. And then I was like... What? Get get out of here. And that, that just hit me because like on top of her mentioning that she was also talking about how pharmaceuticals are, are like a big business. And like she she digs deep into a lot of stuff. A lot of things that people would say are conspiracy theories, but it's actually, in fact, true. Um, you do your research. But pretty much what we consume makes a big big impact on our body what we're adding into the body builds mucus and inflammation so if you're not putting the right things into your body you're building a lot of mucus which makes you receptive to catch and take in more diseases and viruses right so that's why it's, food is very 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 important okay food is very very important and I agree with her. On, I agree with her. Like, really, like, I feel like this whole thing is a business to a point. It's all about money. Because if you think about the foods that are advertised on a daily basis, they're not really healthy for you. You know, you shouldn't be eating pork and beef, like fast foods, McDonald's and all those types of foods on a daily basis because it's not it's not healthy for you. It's not made well. It's not made right. It's processed. Right. And we don't need to be putting processed foods into our body. Naturally, we're supposed to put in more plant-based and more veggies and plant-based stuff in our body, right? I think I read this somewhere where, like, we're closest ancestors to, like, stegosauruses, where they just mainly eat plants and leaves and grass. And look how long they lived for. Just like us, you know, until we start fucking up our body. <laughs> What's up, Dustin? But food is very, very important. And a lot of, we're not taught about these things. We're not taught about nutrition, you know? 
and I, and no offense to doctors as well out there, but a lot of doctors don't even get opportunity to study nutrition for that long. They, I feel like they only get 48 hours of nutrition out of their whole time they're uh, working to become a doctor. If that's wrong, fact check me, drop it in the comments. Um, but even doctors may, maybe don't even know to that point, right? Again, no hate. <laughs> um, but I just feel like the whole thing, the whole system is a, it's, it's a business. It's, it's made to make money and it can help you based upon how you go about it. But if you're not taking care of yourself, it's not going to help you really. So while watching that, she like, again, she dropped some gems. So go watch that podcast. I'll, I'll drop it in the comments. Okay. Um, but pretty much just hearing that story and then hearing just the whole thing and listening to it, I resonated with it very, very daily because these are things I've thought about. Um, I've already done intermediate fasting before, and I've already done a, sm a, a type of fast, like where um, I didn't eat for a couple of days, well, just small meals or like small snacks and stuff. So I was like, at that, at that point, I was kind of ready. I was kind of ready for a water fast. So... Really, after that podcast, when I watched it and got all the gems and information and her story and her and her perspective and just hearing them talk about all those things, it just resonated and just pushed me and inspired me and motivated me to want to try doing a water fast. So that's pretty much the background of that and how I got into it, right? Um, again, do your research. Make sure you're always researching things before you try something, all right? Whether it's health, nutrition, dance, school, whatever it is, do your research. So to my experience, right, seven days, just water. This this was nuts, okay? <laughs> the first day was like the hardest, one of the hardest days. Honestly, I think the first day was the hardest because even though it didn't look like it, I was struggling. <laughs> I was struggling. And I honestly, I was active during this seven days of water fast. I was active the whole time. Like I was working out, I was running, I was teaching, I was working, I was dancing. Normally you're not supposed to do that because it will drain your body, okay? Technically, if you're gonna do this water fast, you wanna be under supervision, you wanna be at home, you wanna be at a place where you can relax and chill and not do too much. But me, I'm this, I'm whatever, you know? I, I do, I do, I do me, okay? Yes, I shouldn't have done it the way, but that's how I went about it, right? So it was a little bit more intense on my hand. I'm sure they were also doing, maybe they were also dancing too. I'm not sure, but for, I can only speak from my experiences. So the first day was tough. Literally the first day, that's when we had the shuffle meetup. Um, we had the, we went to, we had our shuffle meetup on the east side. Uh, shout outs to Chelsea, Elevated Movement. His collective, you know what it is. Um, that day, that was the first day I started, and all I drank was water that day. It was it was crazy, and I had to go session. <laughs> I had to go session on that first day, and like literally, I could only dance three times out of the night, three four times out of the night. I kept pushing myself to want to dance more, but it was tough. It was really hard. So there were just moments where I would just. Catch my caught myself sitting down and relaxing a lot. So the first day was like okay, honestly, I want to say the first day was like mediocre. It wasn't the toughest, but it was it was tough. It was hard to get through that. The second day, same as the first day, not crazy and whatnot, because I I have went like a day or two without eating so much food. So that in itself kind of already got, got me prepared for that. So I wasn't really losing my mind at that point. Um. The second day I went to work, I had a full day shift, got there at like 10.30, left at 6.30. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, <laughs> imagine talking to people <laughs> and whatnot. Um, but second day went fine. Um, afterwards, um, actually, we had a session. You came up, uh, we, we went to Courtney's place to go session. <laughs> Again, I don't, don't, don't be active when you're doing this, okay? Like, don't, I just, I'm just, I'm just crazy, okay? Um, but I sessioned afterwards until like 10 p.m., <laughs> 11 p.m. that night. It was terrible. 
But what was crazy was that when I woke up the next day, I had so much energy. Like, it was nuts. I'm like, wait, what? I woke up at 5.36 a.m. in the morning. 5.36 a.m. in the morning. Thank you, brother. Man, I am so proud of myself. Like, I... I'm proud of, all I have to say is I'm proud of myself for like just pulling through and making it to this. So thank you. Thank you. Blessings. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it was tough though. (laughs) And having a few people that checked in on me was a blessing because it was very lonely. (laughs) Um, so like on the third day, so the first and second day, not too bad. Tough. I just had to get, I was kind of already used to that type of environment of not really eating that much food right um so that third day was just crazy i woke up literally at 5 36 a.m i meditated for 30 minutes i stretched for 30 minutes i went for a jog listen hold up (laughs) i went for a jog i jogged for like i think i did a two almost a three mile jog and i didn't even notice i did a i jogged I didn't, I didn't even notice I, I did a three mile jog. I was just, I had so much energy. It was weird. Like I was running so, like I was running way faster than I would normally run on a, on a, on a jog or a run. Like I was straight and then got back, showered and then left. Like I was even surprised that I was even jogging as fast as I, running as fast. I was running. I wasn't jogging, to be honest. I was running. And I'm sure I did about three miles. Got back showered, got ready for work. I did all this from 6 to 7.45. That was nuts. Then I caught my bus, got to work before 9 a.m., got set up and everything like that, cleaned the kiosk, everything like that, and I was ready to go by like 11 because it took a while to clean the kiosk because some people, and I'm talking to my coworkers right now, some of y'all dirty. Okay, clean after yourselves. Jeez. <laughs> but anyway, um, went to work. Work was smooth. Like I had energy that whole day. People thought I was on. I had. I was. I was so energized. At this point, all I have been consuming is obviously water. Um, normally, I drink a bang before I go to work. I haven't drank a bang for like a week and a half. I also say this, I smoke for medicinal things. I haven't smoked for a week and a half. So I'm proud of myself too on that. And it was just pure natural energy that I had on that Monday. Literally from that time I woke up to four o'clock. I got off work at 4 p.m. Came back, taught my class. Got done at like 7.30, right? Got done at 7.30. And what did I do after Monday? I don't remember what I did Monday. Because I I think I went to sleep early because I was tired. (laughs) After after a while, it just hit me and I was like, oh, wait, I need to go to sleep, right? And one great thing about this, this fast too is like my sleep schedule completely changed. I go to bed way early now, obviously. Cause it makes more sense. Cause you can't just be using so much of your energy like that. So I went, I've been going to bed early this past week um, and waking up early. So it makes sense. Um, and I haven't been staying up and drinking all these crazy energy drinks and stuff like that. But that was Monday. So uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, third day was great. The next day I woke up, I felt like shit. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the fourth day was the hardest day. The fourth day was the hardest day. When I tell you, I woke up just groggy, like just dead tired. Like, I'm like, wait, did I just get hit by a bus? And I know it's because of all the physical activities I was doing prior leading up to it. So it really hit me hard, right? So that fourth day was tough. Like I was struggling at work. Like I was leaning over, (laughs) barely like standing. 
I was I was like this like not dizzy, but I was like druzy. Like I I felt like I was in a daze. But like oh, let me add this real quick. On that third day, when I woke up super energized, I felt very heightened. Like my senses and everything was super heightened, right? Like I felt like I could smell things better, I could see things better, I could hear things better. I was more present, right? I was very, very present. And like, even at work, it showed like differently, like how I communicate and converse with customers was completely different. Like I was in a whole different place. It was, it was beautiful. Like I felt amazing that, that uh, Monday, but that Tuesday though, I felt like I just needed to go home, man. I was, I was done with that day. Tuesday was sucked. Tuesday sucked ass crack. Excuse my language. Um, I had, a, I had, I worked all day, but the crazy things, I still woke up at like 5 a.m., 6 a.m. Actually, I think I woke up at 7 on Tuesday, to be honest, because I couldn't sleep that night because I was so tired. Um, but Tuesday, I woke up, um, went to work. Now, what I did do to help me moving forward, and I'll keep going with the days, meditation, grounding, and a lot of breathing exercises, okay? Those would be great things if you ever want to try doing this or even just fast water, just intermediate fast or anything. Meditating, practicing different breathing techniques and grounding yourself and getting in some, stepping outside, you know, getting some natural sun, natural air, natural vibes, right? I know we live in Madison, Wisconsin. It's cold, it's, a, it's cold. But when the sun comes out, go get that sun because it's very, very important. It recharges you. Now, meditating just helps you, helps keep you clear and helps you keep, uh, keeps you sane. Um, it's also a great way to also pray as well too, right? And affirm yourself. Um, breathing just helps keep your body calm and relaxed so that you're able to function, right? Um, grounding, what well, grounding did help actually... Grounding recharged me, right? Whenever I was grounding, I got more energy again. So like on that Tuesday, I grounded in the morning and then I grounded on my break at, during, um, during my break at work and it brought me energy. If you don't know what grounding is, grounding is simply when you go outside with your bare feet and you walk in some soil and grass. Exactly, yeah, tell, exactly, Case. Okay. Tell them street caution because you got to take care of yourselves. Okay, please. Thank you. Um, actually, I'm going to bring you on here later if, you, if you're still on here, Casey. Um, but that grounding literally helped me so much to keep my energy up, especially on days where I felt like I, was, I had no energy. That grounding helped me. It literally recharged me, you know? It literally recharged and kept giving me energy so I could keep moving throughout the day, right? Facts, you know? So, big facts, big facts. And it's a code, you know? Like, I feel like they just, they don't want to tell, they don't want us to know. Like, I feel like this system is, this system is based upon fear, Okay. It's based upon fear so we can they can lower our frequency and control us. That's literally what it is. It's control. Okay? Okay? That's what it is. If you don't believe me, that's on you. I hey, listen. There's just so much fear in the US. Well, in the world, but like the US is based on fear, con like tactics and stuff like that. Like everything they do is meant to uh, it's the opposite. However, there are ways you can use those the system to help you. But again, you, you will only get to a certain point if you look like me, unfortunately, especially here. Um, but anyway, with the grounding though, yes, electricity, Casey, yes. It literally recharges me. We have synapses on our feet that can connect to the ground that can literally recharge you. Like I'm literally... I'm literally, if you haven't tried it, go try it. Maybe not now with the snow. I mean, you could with the snow, but it, your feet will be cold. But it, I literally felt recharged after I grounded for like 15, 20 minutes, right? 
And usually when I ground, I also meditate. So I'm doing that 30 minutes, 45 minutes of meditation plus my grounding at the same time. So I was able to do uh, multitasking with that. So that grounding helped me so much throughout the day of Tuesday because like I literally probably would have passed out, you know. There are so many times throughout the day that I, I just had to sit down. <laughs> and, and like, I was still functioning though. Like, my willpower is strong. I know I know from the end of this that I have a strong willpower because even on the days where I felt like giving up and passing out, I didn't give up. Like, it was tough, but I didn't give up, right? I was even working with customers until literally I worked the whole shift, you know? I got back. You know, I got five, I got six lines that day. It was crazy. Tuesday was nuts, okay? Yes, that's exactly why some people get depressed in the winter because it's not that much sun, you know? And it's hard. You're not getting enough natural energy, you know? So that's why it's very, very important to make sure you're eating right. Make sure you're putting the right vitamins into your body. What up? What up, K-Dot? Sorry. What up, K-Dot? Um, uh, but like, yeah. It's, it's a lot of people get depressed in this winter because your energy is low, you know, the frequency is down, right? So what you have to do is you have to find ways to keep that energy up. Water, obviously, putting electricity in your body in the, in the sense of what types of foods and liquids give you electricity. Grounding yourself is a great, like literally, I would encourage everybody to go try grounding. You can try it in the winter. It, your feet will be cold, but like, you're going to feel so much better afterwards, okay? It's mm -hmm. so important afterwards. Our fetus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because, so, in this realm, we're attached, our body is attached to this realm. Our spirit is not, Okay? So your soul that's attached to this realm, which is attached to this planet, to this, to this, to this earth, is literally connected to this earth. So you have to do everything in nature. <laughs> you have to do everything that's natural, because your soul is naturally connected to this planet, on this earth. So what does that mean? Literally, go out in nature. You have to go out in nature constantly. Being grass, being be on the ground, you know, be outside in the sun. You know, we don't need to be eating all these processed foods. We don't need to be eating chicken every day. We don't need to be eating um, beef and pork, especially pork every day. You know, we don't need to be eating all those things. All we basically really need is more plant-based and veggies in our diet, in our system. And sun, water, exercise, sleep, meditation. And then a bunch of other stuff that goes into it, right? But like, our soul is naturally connected to the soil, to this planet. So when you do things connecting to this planet or to this earth, to the soil, you're healing yourself. You're recharging yourself. You can heal yourself. You really can. You can heal yourself through meditation, through grounding, and the minerals that you put into your body, right? Right? Yes, ma'am. We don't need to be eating three meals a day. That's that's that in itself is crazy to me too, because I'm like, why are we eating three meals a day? We don't need to be eating that much. That's just making us fat. Like, like we don't need to be eating three meals a day. You should probably and most you should eat is two meals a day. You know, you should be eating two meals a day. You don't need to be eating three meals a day. You don't. You really don't. But so I'm trying to catch up on the that's just so. Yep. And like, there's a lot of herbs and natural things that have a lot of the minerals that we need in our body. For example, the number one herb or thing that helps with, that has all the minerals you need, burdock root. Burdock root. Actually, I made a list here. Hold up. Burdock root, elderberries. I'm going to make a list too. Hey, Casey. I need to talk to you. We need to do this health thing. I, I, we, we, I'm going to talk. I'm going to bring you on here in a minute. Because I, I, you and I really, literally, like, you already know. But you have to find items and things, food. You have to consume things that um, 
You have burdock? Please bring some burdock root for me. I need some burdock root. I don't want to, I want to, where did you buy it? Tell, tell me where you bought it. What's up, guys? Come on in, come on in. Hey, Samantha. Samantha. Oh my gosh, Rick, I haven't seen you in so long. What's up, John Keys? What up, Mish? Um, yeah, like all the things that we eat that isn't good for us, it's just building inflammation and mucus. And that's what makes us sick and gets us more sick, right? Because you know you miss breakfast and lunch. Facts. Because they tell you you need to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They tell you that. So it's, brain, it's, it's brainwashed, it's, it's wired into our brain to think that we have to eat. That we have to do all those things. Yeah. We don't need to be eating breakfast or lunch like that. Honestly, you should just be eating lunch and dinner. Or just eat a big-ass dinner at the end of the day. You know? Chicago Bon Santi. So that's the shop. All right, I'm going to check them out. But like, and we eat because we're stressed out. And everything stresses us out in this realm, in this system. <laughs> you know? So this is, and yo, off note. You know what was crazy? What I realized this year with this, a lot of people do not have any passion. Apart from work, a lot of people don't, are not, they don't have anything they can do outside of work. That passion can be something that you can use to tune into yourself. And that self worth, worth, worth is very important because you're taking care of yourself too by doing something that you actually like and love and care for and you put your energy into, right? So that blew my mind. Like when finding out this year that a lot of people don't even have things that they do after work or just they don't have a passion afterwards. It's just like yo, it's part of the system. Like that's like or we're just brainwashed, you know? So. Find a passion. If you have a passion, don't give up. Stick to that. Do it full-heartedly, okay? Stay true to yourself. This world, this life is about you first. You have to take care of your kingdom. I love using the acronym of CRUMP because CRUMP is literally life, okay? Let me break down what CRUMP means. K, kingdom, okay? What does kingdom mean? You. <laughs> you. Your kingdom, your body, your soul, your your spirit, your mat, your mental, your heart, your kingdom, and then when you have this here, you can do anything else. Not anything, but you're, it will make things outside of your kingdom that much more. All right, let me catch up real quick. Sorry, y'all. Hey, I love this. Thank you guys for jumping in, man. I, I'm, I'm appreciating these conversations, y'all. Um, what up, Alice? Hey, I'm just trying to tell people how to take care of themselves, you know, because we're not they, not, they don't want to take care of us. So we got to take care of ourselves somewhere, somehow. Sometimes we eat to, to feel fulfilled. Exactly. We eat so that we, we think we need to eat because we, don't, we have nothing to do <laughs> or we're on drugs or I'm not talking about you. Relax. Or, we're, or, or like think about the medications sometimes that we take, right? Or you're, you're taking. Do you really need most of those medications? Granted, there are some things that do help. Not taking, knocking that down. But a majority of those things get you hooked and then you have to go back and it's actually poisoning your body. It's, it's ruining, it's building up more and then you have to go back to refill. And how expensive is that? And then how much work do you have to do to make that much money to go back to refill that? It's part of the system. Think about this, okay? So, like, all that is just, that the system is wild. But, like, um, my train of thought is kind of, like, all over the place. My apologies. I'm trying to answer and then keep the energy going at the same time. What's up, everybody? Thanks for jumping in. Um... But overall, really, like, take care of yourself. Like, really meditate. Drink a lot of water. Electrolyte water. Fruits, herbs. More plant-based diets, right? All right, let me go back to day five. So day four was terrible. It was trash. I felt crappy. But what, uh, was it Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. Because th Tuesday, I worked all day. I worked from 8 
to 8 p.m. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, Thursday, I woke up feeling a little better, you know. Um, this time, I was more hungry than anything because <laughs> I was just hungry. I wasn't really like, I was tired, but like I was, I was more hungry than anything, right? So, um, I went through my day. Luckily, I didn't. Luckily, on Wednesdays and Thursdays, I don't work long. I just teach long days. So that's what I had to uphold the most for Wednesday, for day five and day six. Um, but yeah, for day five and day six. So went to work again. I woke up. I actually I worked out again. <laughs> Yo, I just keep putting my body through. <laughs> I keep straining my body, um, but I worked out again just because why not? Um, went to work, got off work, uh, went to my classes, taught my classes, had a great time. I had energy during my class. When it came down to dancing, though, yo, listen, hold up. I, I didn't finish with the crump. Okay, wait, and I'll go back. Doing dancing a lot on this water fest for me kept me sane, especially crumping. I mean, I did all the dance styles, of course, but like crumping literally just kept giving me life. So let me go back to what crump, crump stands for. It's, a, it's an acronym. Kingdom, Radical, Uplifting, Mighty, Praise. So first, you have to take care of your kingdom, right? Taking care of your kingdom allows you to be radical, to do radical things, right? And then that radical things, whether it's for you, for friends, family, community, etc., that can help uplift people, right? The goal is to uplift each other right? That's what life is about. We're not here to bring each other down. <laughs> cramping. <laughs> ah, my, st <laughs> my stomach is cramping. <laughs> oh, snap. What's up, Ryan? What's up, Karsten? Dallin and Bethany, thanks for coming in. Um, we're meant to uplift each other. That's why we're supposed to lead with love, not hate or fear. When you send out hate, it's you're the only one that's sensing that. Okay? No one sense that. No one feels that hate. People are just gonna look at you like, what are you okay? You good? But you're gonna feel that hate in yourself more than that person is gonna feel it from you. So we're supposed to be uplifting and loving each other. But again, the system wants to put us fear and greed and all that stuff so to keep us down, keep our frequency and vibrations down. From uplifting, we gain might. That's where power comes from, right? When you love, you gain power, okay? That's what love is. Love is power. Love is light. It's also chaos at the same time, right? We are both chaos and love. Darkness and light. Light and darkness. Together, yin, yang, balance. That's what we are made of, right? From the might, you're able to praise. And praising can be in so many different ways, right? Freedom, expression, connection. Life is all about connection. I take care of my kingdom. You take care of your kingdom so that we can connect and build and grow. We don't have to connect, but life is about connection too, right? And on top of that, you doing your part of being the best you you can be affects my reality. Me not doing the best I can do also affects your reality. So that's why it's so important to take care of ourselves. You know, they've segregated us, segregated us so much and split us apart that when we're so, <laughs> that, we're, that we're so separate that when, um, that we don't know, even know how to connect. Like we're so, so apart from each other that when we come close to each other, it throws, us, it throws each other up. People don't know how to connect anymore. They've never been known how to connect. It's even tough now. It's more tough now. Especially with these masks and we're not even going to get into it. Especially with this pandemic, man. Listen. But life is about your kingdom, connection, and love. Okay? And what does that mean? I can't tell you that. I can only tell you from my experience. You have to find out what that is for you. And you can take in other people's perspectives and experiences and then you can build off of that. But don't try and be like someone else because then you're losing who you are. Right? Post this on YouTube. <laughs> so, hey, I might. I might just post this on YouTube, man. Listen, say less. Say less. I appreciate the love, man. Y'all awesome. 
Um, but what you send out is what you get back. So if you send out love, you're gonna get love back. If you send hate, you're, if you send hate out, you're just hating yourself. No one's sending hate towards you. I mean, the, people might feed off that energy, but it's ultimately you, right? So those are the, life is simple, okay? Life is very simple. We just make things complicated. Um, but day five and day six, my main goal for day five and day six was just to get through the day. <laughs> I was just trying to get through the day because I'm like, dang, I got to dance. I got to work out. My stomach is killing me. Hey, I feel so healthy and clean though too, by the way. Like this water fest toned the crap out of my body. So your boy looking smexy in here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My body's looking smooth. My skin feels amazing okay my skin like literally everything about this feels amazing okay it was a full complete detox and then today being that last day i've just been i kind of did an intermediate fast today so like i'm not i haven't ate like a big meal i've just slowly eating gradually not eating a lot and i'm gonna um tomorrow so I'll, I'll try and eat a meal right but yeah, day five and day six were not too bad. It was just a matter of having enough willpower to hold on. Because honestly, I was going to maybe try and stop at day three. But because I felt so good on day three, I was like, you know what? Let me go. But what pushed me to keep going after day four, which was the hardest day out of this whole fast, was I already started. I'm not going to give up because I have a... I have a natural, not natural, but I tend to, I have this tendency to start something and not finish it all the time. I do complete things, but there are times where I don't finish all the time. I'll, I go to the next project and I go to the next project. This one for me was like to test my willpower, challenge myself, cleanse myself and start really new with the new uh, habits and diet, right? I have, I have a completely new lifestyle right now. I'm sleeping better. I'm communicating better. I'm more present. I feel healthier. I feel clear. Like, I feel like I have my superpower. I feel like I have superpowers again. Well, I feel like I just re I activated my superpowers. Okay? Literally, whatever I think and feel go happens. It's crazy. Yeah. You're a god. And you're a goddess too. You're also a king and a queen. All right? So, live like that. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Um... So those, that's my experience with it. Like day one and day four were the toughest days for me. Um, I mean, day five and day six were tough too. They were, they really were. They were so difficult, but I just had to push through and finish strong. Like my classes last night, the other, yeah, on Thursday, I was kind of losing my patience. <laughs> I was kind of losing my patience with the, with the kids. I'm sorry, y'all. Sorry to the kiddos, <laughs> but I was kind of losing my patience, but like I finished strong and then I got through it. And then today is just like a brand new day. Like I reward myself with a haircut. Shout outs to Gina Styles. You know what I'm saying? Don't you want to look good? If you do, go get styled up. Gina Styles, baby. Yeah. Giving her a shout out right now because she deserves it. She works hard. Um, But... Yeah, that's my experience. Um, overall, it was great. Um, it was a blessing. It was, it was definitely an experience. And I can definitely look back to this um, as like a as a milestone, as a threshold of starting brand new. Um, and I can always look back to this when I'm like struggling or in a pinch or in, in a, if, I'm, if I'm having doubts or anything like that, I can go back to this and be like, yo, remember when you did a water fast and you didn't eat for seven days? <laughs> you remember that shit? Yeah. You can do this. Get out of your brain. Get out of your mind. You know? Um, but again, before you try this, this is not for everybody. I do encourage people to try at least a day or a day, two, or th up to three days. Um, but if you're going to do it, do some research. If you need some support, feel free to reach out to me. I would love to be able to be some kind of spirit guide in a sense for that. Um, or if, if you want me to, whatever it is you need. Support is important, okay? Have a good circle of people that will check on you and make sure you're doing well. Um, and uh, take care of yourself, okay? Like, honestly, 
what this year has taught me the most is self-love. It's to love myself and believe in myself the most so that so that I can really be present. We're so fixated on what's going to happen next in the future that we, we get to miss out on everything. So allowing myself to be present and loving myself well, allowing myself to love, allowing, loving myself allows me to stay present so I'm not focused too much on what's going to happen next, right? Yes, do research about the past and history so that you can prepare for the future, right? But I do plan on doing this again in the future. Maybe not seven days. Maybe I'll do like three days or something like that. Or I'll just do intermediate fasting and whatnot. But like, this is a great way for like health loss. I mean, health loss, weight loss. Um, this is also a great way to detox your body, literally cleansing out your body um, of mucus and inflammation. Um, and it's also, it can help cure some things. Like if you have any diseases or stuff going on, I mean, obviously check with your doctor first before going to it. But like, hey, I don't know. I feel like I'm the most healthiest I've ever, I've been in a long time right now. You know, you can drag. Yes. Yep. And I plan on gradually getting into that because I love this experience, honestly. And I, I, I definitely will go back to it when I feel like I'm dying. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, um, I'll definitely go back to this um, as a, um, just, just to try again and do it again because it was definitely a big lesson. Like this will test your willpower so much. Like it will test you to the point where it's like, yo, are you going to break or are you going to do this? You know? There's going to be that voice in the back. And this is this is something that's also great. Um, as I mean, great in the sense for me because as a dancer, like, there's always this self-doubt or this, this negative mouth talking and saying, you ain't shit. Who do you think you are? You can't do that dance move. Get, go sit down. Oh, you want to make a routine? Sit down. Oh, you want to lab? Sit down. And then this, going through this process, told me to talk to that person and be like, Shut the fuck up and then knock him back. And then now I'm in control. You are in control. You are in control of your life. You're in control of your destiny. You're in control of what comes to you, right? And it all starts with you first, all right? You got to love yourself. You got to believe in yourself. And you got to put yourself in an environment with others that will also do the same. If they're not doing the same, you're not going to do the same. It's as simple as that. So that's why a lot of us end up becoming lonely because a lot of people are not on that same page, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You got to take that self journey to find yourself first. You got to date yourself. I'll give, I'll give my ex points for this because she did say she dated herself, but low key probably. Okay, I'm not even going to talk shit. Never mind. Never mind. I'm not going to give her points. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but I have no hate. I have no hate. It's all love. Um, but that's my experience. Um, I'm excited for these new recipes I'm about to start. Chef Papa is about to be crazy, y'all. Like, I'm so excited for these foods I'm about to make for season two. I'm also very excited for the guests that I'm going to bring on. Like, we're about to make some nice, healthy stuff, okay? We're about to get... We're, listen, listen. I'm excited. What's up, Erica? Um, but yeah, that's my experience. Um, if anybody has any questions, go ahead, uh, drop them in the comments. Um, I like the idea of posting this on YouTube, so I'll probably post this on YouTube. Um, I'll share this again later on next week um, as like a full video or something like that. So if you missed this, I'll have this on YouTube. Um, share it, you know, uh, support your boy. Um, let me see what else do I want to add and say. Um, yeah, yeah. It was overall, it was a great experience. Um, again, take care of yourself, love yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't. I. I have, there's nothing else I really have to add to say. I could keep going, and we could keep talking about health stuff, but like, nah. But I do want to bring. Oh snap! I do want to bring. Casey on here real quick. No answer from me. If you're still here, send me a video request thing real quick. Or we can just chat later another time. Um, I want to get you um, on the... 
I want to do this. I want to do something with you specifically for health stuff and tell people about these because with our resources and our uh, tools and stuff like that, we could definitely make, yay, we can make something happen. Thank you. Thank you for listening and thank you for. Uh, oh. What's good? Hold up, say hi to my friend. This is. Funny. Hey. Um, so pretty much I want to, okay, so we're both on health tip stuff, right? And right. I want to do this, uh, I don't know what day, but like, I want to, I want to find a day where you and I, like, I don't know, we go live or like, we just share health things that whole day just to like, keep people informed, um, give people inspiration and motivation to like, try at least right. and just different things that they can do to different things to research because like ultimately like this year a lot of people haven't been taking care of themselves <laughs> and it shows <laughs> right you can tell a hundred percent get you some seeded grapes out here okay oh. seeded <laughs> and like i feel like as as it's our responsibilities in a way to like help those people and everybody else that is not taking care of themselves. But at the same time, they on the other hand have to, to at least try to be receptive to take in that information. So like, it's a two way streak. It's not gonna work. It's, a, it's like a relationship, right? I do my part, your part, and it's a balance. So like, I wanna find a day where um, we can do this on the hitters page or we can make our own page together. Um, right. where we can drop knowledge on people, <laughs> drop knowledge, oh, drop recipes, drop like exercises, like different kinds of meditation, breathing techniques, grounding techniques, even as well. Um, right. It's like things to do to like really keep your body and your frequency and vibrations high. Because if, if you're not there and you stay here, you're going to get sick. I'm sorry right. you're going to get sick. And I honestly feel like everyone at this point is going to get COVID at some point. It's just a matter of how strong your body is to fight it. Right. right. And if your body's not strong enough, then we have different consequences that can happen. And I right. don't wish ill, Ill will or death on anybody, but like, you got to take care of yourself because this is very detrimental. Like, if you're not taking care of what what you put into your body and what you do outside of that too, you're going to be around somebody that probably is fine and probably is, has COVID, but, in, but because you're not taking care of yourself, you're going to get sick really fast and really right. quick. And that's going to hit you harder than it hit anybody else. And then that's, that, that's the part where it's going to be like, then what do you do? Then you have to quarantine. And then what if it doesn't go away? I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to scare people. And right. Not, and no, like what, like it, I think it, it's important not only to okay um do everything you can to lead a healthy lifestyle but actually learn about the body like yeah we had our little science classes but i realized i wasn't engaged i would say 85 percent of my school life right but when it's relevant to me that's when i'm engaged so mm -hmm. like learning like more people need to learn about the lymphatic system the lymphatic system is hugely important to oh, no. break, how that your body... break that down for the people break that down for the people break that down for the system... give them a snippet a snippet a snippet <laughs> we didn't do a snippet um, so for instance, an example, the lymphatic system is hugely important to how your body deals with dis, dis ease. I don't like to say disease, because when you break down the word, it just means your body is not at ease. So it's like how, how you, how you maintain balance, how you maintain a, a ease in your body. If you don't know how to do that, if you don't, for instance, if you do get sick, mm -hmm. If then, I get sick, I know personally for myself, I won't touch, I won't go near a hospital. Now, if, yeah. you know, if my leg is shattered, I'm going to go to that joint. Uh -huh. If uh -huh. I need to get testing done, I'm going to go to, you know, like, 
if I need to get blood work done, I'm gonna go to that joint. But mm -hmm. when it comes to my body is not at ease, knowing how to bring your body back into ease or even just like fighting through it because our body is a self healer. However, if you're eating three meals a day, that's obstructing the healing process because now your body is focusing on digestion as opposed to attacking a pathogen. So that's a snippet. Um, <laughs> hey, y'all listen, okay? Y'all need to listen because this is so important. Like, this is a snippet. Like, that's all we're going to give y'all because, like, that, like, just what you just said right there is so important. A lot of people don't even know that, right? Because, like, I like that you broke down that disease because it's like your body really isn't at ease, you know? And there's actually a little uh, pramayama, prana, pramayamas that you can say specific love and kind in words to mm -hmm. yourself to heal yourself. We can heal ourselves by literally talking to ourselves and they can literally ourselves. You can literally focus on your knee and say, may my knee be happy, may it be at ease. Do that a couple of times a day. Watch what happens to your knee. Watch. Right. Because you know what? That. That's another missing component in health and healing and in our world. Mm -hmm. Our mind. Once you convince, if, if you if you say, I can't do that, you, you're already defeated. You're defeated. But, you can't, you're not going to do it. But when, for instance, you could be like, oh, well, my cancer isn't curable. You defeated yourself already and you're going oh, to you're going to create that experience for yourself. Like mm -hmm. that's a missing component is literally we're being duped because our mind is so powerful. Now imagine something like we're experiencing with this pandemic when we're being right. fed over and over again to be fearful, to be fearful, fearful, fearful. We're gonna recreate that experience for ourselves. And on a global level, that's a global manifestation. You know what I'm saying? I'm never, I'm not coming to you and saying it's not real. I'm saying it's so real. Mm -hmm. It's so real. That's and, what I'm telling because, us. You know, because, condolences if you lost somebody or if you've experienced it, condolences. Right. But what I'm saying to you is it's so real that we got to, we got to start here. Mm -hmm. We got to start here and make changes accordingly. A hundred percent. Cause like, oh, real quick, what's up, Monica? I see you. Um, she eats right and has. Oh yeah, we are gonna give you guys some recipes. Whole time, it's manifestation think? time, right? And I'm like, okay, how can I utilize the things that I love, the things that I'm passionate about? How can I bring people in my life? How can I make a team and bring things into fruition? Here, you talking about doing? Let's do it then. Let's go. Let's do it then. We've, we've, um, we're gonna talk after this because I really do want to make this. Uh, this, I want us to do this thing because like, our energies are just there, and right, we've just been vibing off. But like to go back to this global thing, like we all share a connected reality, right? Like right. I said before, me doing my part and doing the best and being the best I can be is gonna affect you, and you doing the best and the best that you can be is gonna affect me. If you're not doing your part. It's going to affect me as well, too. And it's going to affect somebody else. So because the whole world, the whole globe is on a, a fear of a fear right now, like a high frequency of fear. It's just bringing that vibration down. So it's making everybody receptive to be more sick and just bringing the energy down automatically right off the bat from that fear tactic that they're putting into our brains. But if you put that out there and just be like, you know what? I'm going to start taking care of my mind. I'm going to start taking up my soul. I'm going to start taking up my spirit and my body. That is something going to make that small little change. And then when everybody or one person at a time starts doing that, 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 it's going to cause a chain reaction. And this thing's going to flip. It's going to flip around. And I we're, we're coming into some shit. I ain't going to hold y'all. Yo, um, I'm excited. Are you excited? It's for almost it? as if. I, what I see happening right now is there is a split. Like we have this collective consciousness, but the collective consciousness is like split. There's the yep. people who are in fear 95% mm -hmm. of the time. And then there's the people who are, who are letting go of fear, you know, 95% yeah. of the time and taking action in other ways. 
and I, mm-hmm. it's not to say either way is right or wrong whatever you know we right. for your soul's purpose you're where you're supposed to be to be exactly. honest at the basic level that's how i have to think about it to be okay in life hey, is like have, okay if i'm not reaching this person cuz they literally can't they can't comprehend they're not there yet it's because they're where they're supposed to be spiritually anyway right. and that's just what it is but like there are a lot of people on the spectrum we're talking about uh or spectrum yeah it is yeah. a spectrum yeah, too it is a spectrum it's a different it's like spectrum within the within the divide right. and it's just right. it's a spectrum we, within the realm of the of that divide that but ironically and, and hopefully i do feel like we are going toward you know they say the age of aquarius boo boo up the bam i think it you know i i believe in it what well, man Yeah. Um but what I that does is it takes us into more autonomous and that that includes with your health that includes letting go of fear that includes like um eating less like I love food I'm I love food just like the rest of everybody um but okay I know what it means to fast and I know why people love to fast I you know like even down to like a dry fast which is nothing okay right. you can't do that forever because you're gonna die <laughs> but you know but there are people who dry fast meaning literally nothing for short amounts of time or even there's people who in this world who have went seven days do i right. recommend it for a newbie no but like the healing of fasting i see why people you know are gravitating to eating less and it's like it's because we are we can be fed in different mm-hmm. ways like you were saying the sun is nutrients literally for your body vitamin mm-hmm. d is a hormone in your body that you receive from light the sun right nutrients mm-hmm. and then what you were saying about grounding literally the electricity like of the earth feeding you when you weren't eating nothing that recharged you that gave you the energy you needed mm-hmm. so like yeah. Yes. Like yo. We're, I do believe we're going into that space of okay, actually now what does it mean to be healthy? Right. That's why what we see mean, people like are like, "Oh, I'm I'm a pretty healthy person and I still I still got sick from it." Of course. But we got to look at okay, so what does it actually mean to be healthy? A lot of people just want to go right back on into what we were living in. But when you Which look at the society happen. we were living in it was not healthy from from mental happen. emotional physical psychological we are in an abusive relationship with society literally this is it's a it's a abusive relationship with the system that's right. literally what it is because it's a constant pushing down right you to go back down the moment you feel yourself rising there like nope No. Nope. I mean, nope. I, we got we got nope. we got hella topics we could talk about. Yo, listen. I just we, wanted to just We got on... over here. If you if you let us go on right now, this is not going to end for another 2 hours. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> But I just wanted to get you on here and um just share that with you specifically because um I I just know that um just you and I run that same page and you have so much to share and uh, a lot of experience with this too. So Um just let everybody watching this now we're about to do something crazy for y'all we're going to try and help you guys as much as possible this is not only just for you this is also for us too right? right this is this is building our mental our physical our spiritual and our soul in the in the same exactly. path helping you too so and that's what life is about i'm going to go back great to, to do this for yourself but yeah. when you're when you have community and you have support it's oh, that man. much easier it's that much more like feeling and uplifting. like it's uplifting yes. it gives you might and that's why I'm going back to crump okay right. this is why crump is the best dance style out there fuck Mid-west. what you talk, fuck what you heard may west my fuckers excuse my language <laughs> but like literally crump like look at the acronym it literally right. is light your kingdom radical uplifting mighty praise like that is literally life right there and that's the right. essence of taking care of yourself, loving yourself, believing in yourself, really? connecting and communicating so that you can uplift each other 
and then you right. gain the right to be able to praise, you know? Right. Like, it's... Cool. It's okay. genius. It's almost it's, genius. You know, like, genius. I knew, I know what it means, but now as you talk about it more and more, I'm like, Damn. whole time. <laughs> like, this whole time. embodiment is coming of that for myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we yeah. know what it meant, but you just... Like re so we just, re with the fire just, for me. We just reinvented it to not reinvented, but like reiterate and put it to that deeper perspective. Cause like that's what it is now. Like and that's why right. dance is so important. Just like dancing itself is just important because it's just like crumb in that sense. Like you you have to take care of yourself before you can dance. <laughs> if you're not taking care of yourself, you're not gonna dance the best way that you want to dance. Right. Right. Like any other things too. But I, again, I just want to get you on there. Wanted to see your face, obviously, too. Um, and then um, we're, we're going to chop it up soon. Um, I For do sure. want to, um, uh, let's find a day uh, sometime soon. I, sh I might try and come out to sh uh, Chicago. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you in Chicago or are you in? Uh, I could come to y'all, too, because it's nothing but a, a bus ride away. Like, literally, uh, I hop on the bus about 10 minutes from my house, and I could be in Madison. <laughs> oh, say less. All right. Then we'll yeah we're, we're gonna chop it up um and then we'll go from there but everyone right. say hi this is casey right here street caution in the house listen we are about to help you guys <laughs> and help ourselves too right so stay tuned i think I, I think i'm gonna upload this on youtube and then reshare it as and then um what we'll do is like next time when we link up we'll just See, we might even just turn this into a podcast. I don't know. There's no, so many, whole time. There's so we much that we could talk about. We can literally talk for days about this stuff because this stuff is very, very important. But I'm going to have to start because uh, I want to uh, uh, laugh with my uh, little homie. This is Ooh, my little... let me find out you got a little homie. Listen, <laughs> it's secret. It's a secret. It's a secret. You just told the world now. <laughs> I just told the world, but like, nah, okay, whatever. I'll delete this part. <laughs> But um yeah no uh we're we'll we'll get we'll link up soon we'll chat it up right. soon um definitely have a wonderful evening have you a wonderful you too congrats evening. on your fast you made it a it's lit it. it's made it it's, lit. <laughs> it's litty litty like Bicky hold up look at this right. dog hold up look at him wilding out right now right he he's celebrating your your fast too like right. <laughs> the fast too so he knows what's up. Whole time. But I'll talk to you later. You have a good one. Uh, we'll you chop too. it up. All right. Peace, homie. Peace, peace love, and blessings. Jerga my car. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. All right, y'all. So that's what we got for you guys. Um, stay tuned. Huh? Stay tuned for. Uh, what's coming soon uh thank you guys for jumping on this i will re-upload this up later um i'll post this on youtube um but yeah uh thank you guys again see you guys next time I i'm acting like i'm on a podcast um, um yeah i i don't i don't got much to say right now um but peace love and blessings you guys have a wonderful evening stay blessed stay healthy Take care of yourself. Love yourself. You are worth it, okay? You are worth it, okay? So believe in that, all right? If you don't, no one else will, all right? It starts with you first. All right, y'all. Peace, love, and blessings. Star power. What's up, family? Hey, what's up, what's up? Um, yeah, I'm gone. Peace.